That was amazing. That was Absolutely one in a million day. Today, October 11th was the day. It's one of the best encounters I've ever seen. Here we are in Tonga, heading out to go film some humpback whales uh, with Howard, Michelle, Peter Craw, Bob Haskell, and Jason, with Sam and myself. When we were picking out locations for our film Humpback Whales, we knew we wanted to find a place where we knew we could find humpback whales with their calves. We came upon this place called Tonga. We wanted to use that location. It was just so stunningly beautiful. Water is absolutely gorgeous, and uh, thumbs up, let's go. Every day, we would go out and we would look for humpback whales, which could be very, very aggravating, you want to say? Never even saw a thing. Never even saw it. There's the problem of finding the whale. Good shot. Blue water. And then there's the problem of actually filming with the whales. I think we might get this. This could be a good one. They made us look so They just went right under you and then, yeah. It is very difficult to film these whales. It was a little bit frustrating today with the rain that we've had the last two days. We haven't had any sun for almost seven or eight days. But you just don't stop at the first roadblock. Today we've been sitting and searching and motoring and searching, and then we got an intel that uh, there was mom and calf down this way breaching. So we are hoping that today is going to be our day, Thursday, October 11th. Whales. Exciting, we got no spit. It is tough to do, you have to put in the time. But when you get it right, you get it right. And we were able to spend four and a half hours with this mother humpback and her calf and really get a sense of what it's like uh, to be these animals in, in this environment. Magical, absolutely magical. You know, I'm I'm really stoked that we came to Tonga because it has a unique culture. What they've done is gone from a whaling society to a conservation slash uh, education and tourist society. Because they were ancient whalers and they actually hunted whales for sustenance, it makes the saving of the whales here much more poignant. And I think that'll touch people's hearts.